Welcome everyone to WCW's Slammery. And here comes the first competitor challenging for the WCW United States Championship, Sting. And here comes the champion defending his WCW United States Championship, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. The belt looks so good on him. This should be a good match here at Slambury. Here's a closer look at the United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from parts unknown. Weighing in at 251 pounds, the icon. And his opponent from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds. The WCW United States Champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. The fans look pumped up for this match. Sting looks ready for this match to capture the United States Championship. But Macho Man starts off strong. Dropping a couple knees. Sting's had no chance in this match so far. Back into the ring. Yes, 
Sting in control. Can easily kick out there. Macho Man already going top row. Big splash off the top. Sting firing back. Nice move there by Macho Man Randy Savage. Going for the cover off that. A kick out before one. Changing blows. And Macho Man gets the better of that one. This is his elbow drop. Sting a splash. Going to the cover. Only a two count. Completely missing the cross body. Going for the scorpion death lock. And Macho Man gets out of it. I apologise if you can hear the controller through the microphone. And Macho Man retains. Here is your winner and still the WCW United States Champion. Macho Man. Sting looks heartbroken about his loss against Macho Man Randy Savage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Women's Championship. And here comes the challenger for the WCW Women's Championship. It is Victoria. Victoria attacked the champion last week before their match. And then did end up getting the win over 
China. However, China did have her hand on the rope and the ref did not catch it. So here tonight, China is defending the WCW Women's Championship against Victoria. And here comes China. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, Victoria! Victoria is stretching before the match. And her opponent from Redondo Beach, California, the WCW Women's Champion. China not worried about that, just steering down the challenger. Here we go. Trying to strong strikes, taking down Victoria already. China's not happy about how it went down on WCW Nitro. But here comes Victoria. Springboard Bulldog. Bomb by Victoria. China kicks her off. China does not look happy here tonight. Looks like it's going to be a double count out. Both competitors just get back in the ring. Victoria looks awfully confident. Very impressive there. Got to fight back somehow. Here comes China fighting back.
straight back in the ring. Tiny picking her up, dropping her with a huge power bomb. And not quite enough to put down Victoria. Victoria looking impressive here against China. Moving close to a count out. Where did it see fun? China gets thrown back in the ring. That's China showing off her power. Victoria looked for the quick count. Hitting China. Trying to, trying to breathe, but Victoria straight after her, drop down, Harukarana. Very impressive showing. China not messing around now. Connecting. Slow to the cover. That could cost her. But she gets into the cover. And that delay cost her. Going for it again. She hit the second pedigree. Quicker on the cover. And China retains the WCW Women's Championship here. Here is your winner, and still the WCW Women's Champion. But Victoria put up one hell of a fight trying to capture the WCW Women's Championship.
the following contest he comes jerry the king warrior for his From match Memphis, tennessee weighing in at 235 pounds jerry the king he will be facing goldberg Here comes his opponent. He's been dominant since his debut. So dominant that he needs security to escort him down to the ring. So a list of his victims since he debuted is Lepaka. He took out Sean O'Hare, Chavo Guerrero, Heck, and this last Nitro, he took out Stevie Ray from Harlem Heat. Now it's Jerry the King Lawyer's chance to stop Goldberg. Goldberg starting off strong. Straight to Jury, the King Lawyer. Jerry who wanted to do everything he can to wear down Goldberg. Powerball. Goldberg picking him up for the second one. Can he get the third? And he connects. Goes to the cover. Kick out by Jerry the King Lawyer. Yet another power bomb. Devastating kick. Putting him on the ropes. Looking for a breather. But Goldberg's not going to let him 
get a breather there. Mounted him, throwing the punches, trying to bust them open. Going back to the power bombs. This is not what the king wanted to happen. Letting Goldberg get the momentum. Riff slow to that. King's got an opening. But it's not working in his favour. Kicking him off. The king reigning in those punches. Big chance here for Jerry, the king lawyer. As long as he doesn't let Goldberg build momentum again. Goldberg getting up. Not even close to keeping Goldberg down. Wrenching on the neck. Goldberg needs to find his opening. And this could be it. He's going to hit the jackhammer. Picking him up. Slamming him. And he kicks out the jackhammer. Goldberg's not going to be happy about that one. Goldberg waiting for him to come back in the ring. Spear. Going for the second jackhammer. Hoisting him up. Big slam. And that one does it. Goldberg picks up the victory over Jerry the King Lawyer. Dominant by Goldberg. Here comes the four horsemen. The people representing the four horsemen is Ann Anderson and Tully Blanchard.
and they're going up against the WCW Tag Team Champions representing the New World Order the Outsiders Scott Hall and Kevin Nash This is for the WCW Tag Team Championships. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And it's for the WCW oh, Horsemen trying to bring it back for WCW taking the belt off the new world order. This is the locker room pulling for the four horsemen to capture the titles. But the big task for them will it be? Especially if the rest of NWO come down to interfere. Natalie Blanchard is going to start the match against Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash towering over him. Now it's Scott Hall going after Telly Blanchard. Telly Blanchard hasn't had a chance so far. Double teamed by the Outsiders. Dropping them on the rope. Scott Holt makes the tag, but goes straight after Arn Anderson. Waiting in the ring for Scott Hall. Here comes Scott Hall. Taking the fight straight to Scott Hall. the enforcer of the four horsemen but he gets taken out straight away
getting Scott Holt into the corner. Yeah, the four horsemen going for a double team. which they are accustomed to. Pile driver. Going to the cover of that. And it kicks out. Is Scott Hall fighting back? Looked like he went for the choke slam, but couldn't quite get it. Throwing him over the top. Beating the chest. Vicious shots by the enforcer. Scott Hall was looking for a tag. Aunt Anderson closes them off. Back in the corner. Scott Hall trying to get to his corner. But Aunt Anderson throws him straight back into his corner. Another double team. And for the figure four. Kevin Nash in to save his tag team partner Scott Hall. And Edison needs to get out. Scott Hall fighting back. Yeah, it's the enforcer getting tagged back in, dropping him. Scott Hall really needs that tag. This could be his opening. Scott Hall doing everything he can to get to his corner. He's up for the outside edge. He connects, but he's in the wrong corner. Kelly Blanchard comes in to save his tag partner.
dropping them straight on his head. Drilling him with a DDT. Taking a while to get to the cover. Scott Hall just gets his shoulder up. Kevin Nash gets dropped by Aunt Anderson. Third power driver to Scott Hall. And he stays down. The four horsemen pick up the victory and bring the tag team championships back to WCW. Here comes Eddie Guerrero making his way down to the ring. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds. He's had an attitude about him lately. Just disrespecting everyone. Including the six man tag team match was in he was teaming with his nephew Chavo Guerrero and Rey Mysterio but he instead of going for his opponents he kept going after Rey Mysterio so Rey Mysterio looking for vengeance here tonight Ray Mysterio pumped up for this match. This match will be fast pace. Both like to fly, but Eddie also likes to use his power. Eddie going for the quick cover.
Eddie Guerrero viciously attacking Rey Mysterio throwing him back in the ring springboard drop kick by Eddie Guerrero but Rey fights back Ray with a quick cover and only a one count. Have on by Eddie Guerrero. Cover. And a kick out by Rey Mysterio Jr. Eddie Trash Dawking. Mysterio leaning him on the ropes kick him over went for the Harakaran but Eddie catches him Poison Rounder by Rey Mysterio. The rest are at a seven count. Rey's made it back in the ring, but Eddie's still out there. Eddie throws Rey back in the ring. Removing the turnbuckle right in front of the ref. to the exposed turnbuckle that back fight for Eddie Guerrero will Rey Mysterio Jr. take advantage taking him back into that turnbuckle slamming him going top rope what's he looking for Waiting for him to stand up while the rest distracted. Arakarana. Ray's got the cover, but the ref was too distracted. But he calls it off anyway because Eddie Guerrero's foot's under the rope. Springboard moonsault and he misses. So Eddie goes for the cover off there. And Ray kicks out. Eddie waiting for him to stand up. Brain buster. Right in the center of the ring. 
and that's it. Eddie Guerrero picks up the victory over Rey Mysterio Duna. British Bulldog. He is representing the Hart Foundation. From Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. This match is a no holds barred match. And here comes his opponent. He is from England too. And his name is William Regal. This started way back in the debut edition of WCW Nitro. When both of these two competitors had a match. Regal put his hand out to shake the British Bulldog's hand and when British Bulldog put his hand out to shake it, William Regal moved his hand disrespecting the British Bulldog. And since then, they've both been attacking each other. So it's all come down to this in a no holds barred match. And after this match, we still have the main event of the evening, which will be. Farouk defending his WCW World Heavyweight Championship against the NWO's leader, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. We're going to see a British style influence in this match, both being from England. But it's British Bulldog who goes straight after a hockey stick. Paying homage to the rest of the Heart Foundation What out from Canada. They like their hockey there. Big hockey fans. Big Bulldog top rope. Missing with the splash. Regal. Stretching him. But Bulldog gets out. And 
the British Bulldog picking up the hockey stick again drilling it in the back of the neck of William Regal British Bulldog fired up in this match. Spinebuster right on the hockey stick. But a roll up by William Regal. But he can't get the win off that. Driving the knee right between the eyes. William Regal going top rope, not something he normally does. Waiting for him to get up. Double axe handle. Yeah, it's William Regal. Hitting British Bulldog with the hockey stick. Going for the cover. And the British Bulldog kicks out. Slows the cover, but he gets there. So close. Willingham Regal nearly picked up the victory over the British Bulldog. Looked like William Regal was after the Regal stretch, but couldn't get it. Very intense rivalry here. Bridge Bulldog hits his finisher, the running pass lane. And the British Bulldog picks up the victory over William Regal. Here is your winner, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. We expected more violence, but British Bulldog knocked him off quick. Now here is the main event of the evening. The challenger is making his way to, down to the ring first. He is representing the new world order. He is the leader, Hollywood Hogan. He's looking to capture the title and take home for the NWO, the New World Order. But he's going up against a very tough man in Farouk. Hogan looks pumped up for this match. Yeah, here comes the champion. WCW 
WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds. Huge fight here. Hollywood Hogan. WCW really captured the tag team championships off the NWO. Farouk will want to keep the world title in WCW. Gold is on the line. And here we go. Hogan straight after Farouk. Hopefully the NWO stays in the back and does not get involved in this match. We won a decisive winner here at Slambury. Here we go with the exchanging of blows back and forth. Struggle for power. And Farouk comes off. Slamming him. cover you need to do more than that to put away Hulk Hogan Kick out at the very last second.
It fired Hogan up. Big boot. Waiting for him to slam. Slamming him. Going for the leg drop. Cover. And Hogan picks up the victory over Farouk for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. But it looks like Farouk's hurt. Hollywood Hogan took the title away from WCW for NWO. But a former champion is seriously injured.